the followers of Jesus Christ are to be, uh, you got to excuse the mixed metaphor here, little lambs who are gentle and innocent as doves. That's what it says in Matthew 10, 16. Yeah. And as courageous as lions. That's what it says in Proverbs 28, 1. That's that oxymoron. That's, right. That's that paradox. That's right. All right? This is like, like the Apostle Paul. Remember Paul with the thorn in the flesh? Mm -hmm. He said, concerning this, the thorn in the flesh, I implored the Lord three times that it might leave me. And he has said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For power is perfected in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore, I am well content with weakness, with insults, with distresses, with persecutions, with difficulties for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. That is exactly the opposite of the world. That's right. It's exactly the opposite of the world. But God promises to bless you when you do this. Because when you depend on Him, He will answer you. When you depend on yourself, He'll sit back and say, well, let's see how this works out for you. It's true. He'll let you try and take care of it. He'll let you. He'll give you, he'll take a shot. We've been conditioned and trained by the world to aggressively pursue the things that we want and to stand up, stand up and be men. Taught that real men are strong and tough. And all too often it's the church that teaches the same thing. You know what? Peter. Peter was a tough guy. Yeah. Now how do I know that? He was a fisherman. Just, just like his brother and the others who fished with him. How do I know? Because sailors, fishermen, and commercial, commercial fishermen, they're tough. They're strong. That's tough. That's hard work. Mm -hmm. That's tough. They've got to be really strong. Peter heard this Sermon on the Mount firsthand. Yes. He heard Jesus teach that he, not just we, should love our enemies. Mm. He heard Jesus say that he was not to resist an evil person. That if somebody struck him, he was to turn the other cheek. He heard all of this in the firsthand in the Sermon on the Mount. But in the garden, mm. when the Roman soldiers, the officers of the chief priests, and the Pharisees came to take Jesus, Peter quickly struck out with his sword and injured the servant of the high priest. Yes. He cut off his ear. Yeah. Peter was ready to defend Christ. Mm. You know, it says in Psalm 27, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Who shall I dread? If you lift up arms to defend Christianity, There's there is no Christianity to left to defend. You know, though none of the dictionaries say this, the word teaches it. The opposite of being meek is not strength. Mm -mm. The opposite of being gentle is not strength. The opposite of being meek is pride. A study not long ago at UCLA out in California showed that men actually overcome their fears and show off primarily for the benefit of females, but also for other men, for pride. Mm -hmm. It's about self-esteem, a highly cultivated goal, both inside and outside the church. Self-esteem. You want to know something? You will be so weak in spiritual things until you recognize the only thing that matters is that God esteems you. Ah!